<coughs> testing testicles, testing testicles. So Scotty's back. <coughs> and no, I'm not doing somebody's garden. This actually is, I'm popping around to give some advice to a friend of mine from school from years ago about having his garden done. As for Monday morning, I'm going in and having my ankle fused. Because it's fucked. So it's going to be in a cast for six weeks and I'm going to be in a boot for another six weeks. So I got about three months off before I'm able to do anything ever again. Don't know what ever again will be. I got some plans, but I don't know. But right, okay. Meanwhile, back to what this video is about. I can't do it. So I'm leading him the right direction to get somebody to solve it, to do it for him. Like I say to everybody who rings me up from different parts of the country, can you do my patio? Where do you live? Edinburgh. Can you do my driveway? Where do you live? Northampton. No, I'm in bloody Cardiff. No, I can't do it. So I always say, go online, type in local marshals installer. That isn't the exact wording, but something along those lines. Enter your postcode, and then you get a list of all the installers to your area to do your project. But I'm not. This is just me helping somebody out, leading him the right way. So I've told him all that stuff anyway. So, number thing, number two. Right, actually, I'm going to move the camera for a different angle. Right. Let's have a different backdrop. Right, let's try this backdrop off. So, oh, by the way, I have been putting on weight already. <coughs> Fat bastard. I said I had to stop smoking. So I've been eating all the pies. Right, meanwhile, back at the ranch. So he's bought the tiles already. He's got porcelain tiles, uh, grey porcelain tiles, which I must admit, anybody doing a patio, porcelain patio, grey tiles are a grey colour because they don't show up all the shit on stuff which lands on it, all the dirt and muck. You've got black or white, bit of mud, bit of muck on it, stands out like a sore firm. Grey is a perfect colour. You've got a bit of a shitty light here. Right, let's try this angle. Whoop, no, fuck that. All right, bear with me. <sighs> try again. Right. So, I've basically been giving him advice on what can actually be done. He's not in this industry, so he doesn't know all the things you can actually do. But the plan was just going to be extend, extend the patio to about here and just have it bigger in general. But it's just plain in grey, which, which is all right. But what is nice, if you can stick a border in it, it's always nice to have a border. And what goes nice with grey is black. So that's put an idea into his head, which is good because it will make it look nicer. A picture frame, basically every picture always looks better than a picture frame. Same with bloody patios always look better in the picture frame so black say about like a hundred mil strip going around the outside of it then chuck in the gray in the middle great so that was the first tip of information to think about right let's go for tip two Right, tip two. You don't want to have the patio just coming out to there and going straight down because you'll probably bloody fall off it pissed or something. So, planter. If you were to have a planter coming up here and a planter on the inside, obviously that looks nicer. On the inside, this bit, this side, as long as the planter comes up to about your waist height then you're not going to fall off and land over here so if you are to put a planter in always go up to about waist height so you're not going to fall over the bloody thing it doesn't have to be that wide as long as the middle say about that wide or something you just chuck a load of plants in it chuck some lights in it or something and when you're sat on the seat by there looking this way just a little bit more to look at isn't it so yeah that was the other idea kind of persuaded to do as well 
Right, let's have a look at the steps. I should charge money for this stuff, shouldn't I? Right, I'm going to square you up now for here. So, my idea for the steps is... Right. Centre of the door, right, which is about here. Actually, I think I'm going to have to turn the camera around that way to make it look more right. So, centre of the steps is here. So, the bottom step, I would say could be like this. So if this was here, and say it goes up three steps in all. See the top of the patio doors either side, hang on, if I do if I do that there, so from there to there could be the top step and you could do this type of pattern. So right? So this bottom step here the top step could be in line with there and there, which would look quite nice as well. So you could look through the garden, be like nice and symmetrical all the way through. Or you could do the steps the same width as there to there, going all the way up. But my idea would kind of do that. And I'll fan it a little bit. So that'd be nice, this little design bit. And then I thought of another idea then. So if we were, if we were to put a planter, a long wall, right? Let me do this. Right, so if you were to put a planter on the wall, see these stones? So I've had to take it off the stand for this bit. So I'll put an image up on the screen of a design I did years ago when I use that as the edge of the face of a wall. So what my plan would be for the design of it. Say this is the planter, right? Let me pick this bit of wall up here. Up against here. Right. So see, I've made a little mark there in the middle. So I disc cut her right through the middle of that. And I pick this up and I bed it on the wall here, overhanging slightly, see about that much. Render that, overhang it slightly. Do about <coughs> three or four rows on top of the concrete wall where the planter is over there. And that could be quite the nice added design aspect idea. Plus, if you would have a planter, you need to put a coping or something on top of the wall anyway. But that's kind of the plant there. So if you were to chop that, <coughs> you could have a natural stone finish. So basically, chop that in half, stick that on top, about three or four rows of it, or however much you can get out of all this old sandstone. And that could be an extra design feature. That's the test calls. Yeah, so basically, I'm just giving him some design ideas on what can actually be done. Because I think the planter would be a great idea, because otherwise you're just going to bloody fall off it. You don't be doing that. Add a couple of wines, have a couple of sherbets, off you pop. Broke the leg, before you know it, you're in hospital like me. Planter, great. Block work so high, render it. Chop loads of those tiles down the middle, 120 mil, something like that. A couple of bands on top of the wall going all the way around the planter. And it's a coping for the top. So you save your money on that. Plus it's a feature, makes it look nice. Border going around the outside, always gonna have a border. Always definitely gonna have a border. Otherwise it's just plain Jane. Think of it, if you've got a picture frame. Always pictures always look better than picture frames, don't they? So, same shit for this lot. Same, same, same. Steps idea. Nice curve type thing. That'd be cool. But the bottom doesn't have to be as wide as the top. Chink. Um, yeah. Rather than what it could have been, which was just going to be plain grey. 
I like the design aspect. I actually came around earlier, thought of the plan, how to do it and stuff. And as I was driving home, I kind of wanted to do it. I had like, my brain was like, ooh, oh, I could do that. That'd be a nice job to work on, wouldn't it? But I can't, because I'm going to be fucked from Monday onwards with a bad ankle. So I can't do it anyway. And he wants it done pronto. So, if you're looking for somebody to do your patio, this time of year now, it's gonna, everyone's going to be struggling. So go online, type in local marshals installer. Actually, bear with me. Approved gardens and driveway installers is the page to look at to find an installer to your area who's a marshals guy. Enter your postcode, big list will turn up. Go through the list, see who you like. So try the marshals thing I just mentioned. And then you've got half a chance of getting someone tidy. Right, okay, that's enough. Um, yeah, so I shall see you at some point um, when my ankle's a bit better.